Hey, what's up, you guys? Brandosaurus Rex here, and today we're going to be doing a review on the SH Monster Arts Mecha King Ghidorah. But before we do that, I want to do a, a brief rundown on King Ghidorah's life history. So, before we talk about Mecha King Ghidorah, we have to talk about the Dorats. And the Dorats are left in the past to replace Godzilla to bring King Ghidorah. And King Ghidorah fights Godzilla and loses. And after the battle, with Godzilla and him essentially losing the fight, Emmy, one of the main characters and the person who leaves the Dorads in the past, brings King Ghidorah to, to the future and essentially rebuilds him as a mech that she can control to fight Godzilla. So now that that's out of the way, let's take a look at the box for Mecha King Ghidorah. So for accessories, first I wanted to show off the Dorat, and I am very excited for these. They are a lot smaller than what I thought they were going to be. So for a size comparison with these guys, I'm just going to drop Godzilla's foot in so you guys could see. That's how small they are. So you can see Godzilla towers over these things, but they are not completely size accurate. The Dorats were supposed to be very small, about the size of maybe a Yorkie or a small dog, and these are clearly the size of maybe about two or three stories comparing to the scale of Godzilla's foot. So this is very out of scale, but they're very cool to have. These do have articulation, which is very cool as well. I wasn't expecting articulation out of these little guys, but they all are completely the same. So I'm gonna grab the middle one so we could just move these guys back and we'll start with, the, we'll just start at the head. This one rotates. The mouth, which is surprising, opens and closes rotates at the wing whoa rotates at the wing and it also has a little pivot i would be very careful because there's just a ball socket that is holding this in place that is it so be very careful with that and also the feet do move so you can rotate the feet all the way around so there we go and also the tail in the back does rotate so very very cool i think these are really cool they're small very, very small. I can't think of anything else that's this small in the Monster Arts line. Next up for accessories, we have this beautifully made custom display base. And this is strictly for displaying Mecha King Ghidorah's grips. So I'm going to call them grips or clamps. Um, you're going to hear me call them a bunch of different things. But basically, they are these kind of clamps that come with the figure. I'm going to show them all off in a second. But basically what you do is attach all of them onto this thing. So there's four different ones. There's five of them. I'm sorry. Excuse me. There's five of them. And you attach each one to each different port, as you can see. And then you attach them to Godzilla and Mecha King Ghidorah. I feel like I'm promoting a 3D movie. But here we have all the accessories on Mecha King Ghidorah. So now that I have it all set up, this is exactly what it looks like. So I'm going to get a sky view so you guys can see all the inner workings and how this actually works and i think this is really really cool guys so i know we're pretty much at the end of my display and i know it's kind of cut off right here but don't pay attention to that pay attention to the clamps so you can see that the clamps kind of protruding out of king Ghidorah's chest so basically what you're going to want to do is let me lift up his head heads excuse me um what you're going to want to do is open up these die cast metal panels whoa his die cast metal panels and plug these in and then pull off this piece, this plastic piece right here, which is very easy to remove, and basically insert this die cast, these die cast rods into there. Then essentially attach everything onto the stand, and voila. And you can also, if you want, you could do this without these stands, and just clip them on to the Rebirth Godzilla. So you can see I was trying to set it up, but there's not a lot of space left. The light box. So this is really cool. The die cast metal really does help sell this. And you know the metal I love how all of these individually open and close this does open and clamp around Godzilla so if you want other Godzillas they do fit it does have to be finagled and um, you do have to adjust the height for detailing I want to just discuss the heads real quick because the heads are different from Mecha King Ghidorah to King Ghidorah so for King Ghidorah 
you have the three heads that look exactly the same. For Mecha King Ghidorah, the middle head is different. And on the next, they also have these three collars. Just to let you know, be very careful in case the head comes off. Mine was actually off in packaging and I had to put it back together. The only thing that was holding this head in, like attached to the figure, was this little piece of plastic right here. And you can't actually see it, but this piece of plastic right here was the only thing that was holding the figure together. So be very careful. So nothing new here. But what I want to discuss is the new metal head that comes with Mecha King Ghidorah. So here is one view and you can see that he has these red stripes running down the side and then here's the other view. You can see that he also has these horns running down, these metal horns running down the side. He has a missile that's never used in the movie on the top of his head. Very cool. One thing to note, he the metal head is not as flexible as the other two heads. As you can see, these two can look very far down. Well, this one, this is about as far as you're going to get it. So, downsides. Cool thing, his eyes are a lot bigger. So, his and his are also green. So, with these guys, they're very tiny. So, these little black dots are his eyes. And then you open the mouth. And there's a little missile up there. If you can see that. Yeah, you can see the little missile in there. And you can see his teeth as well kind of sculpted similarly to their teeth just the mech version and i put quotations let's get the quotations in there the mech version of that very cool moving down to the torso slash body of the figure and you can see that this is well sculpted and highly detailed very cool etching marks and details cool panel lines and die cast metal shockingly these ports right here for the the clamps to come out of are actually die cast metal, which makes it easier for opening and closing. I thought it was going to make it harder when opening it and make this more prone to breaking, but it doesn't. It actually makes it easier. Very great. I'm glad that he did this. And I also thought that this was going to light up. This is actually where Emmy sits and battles Godzilla. This is where she sits and controls the three heads and the rest of the body so very cool very very cool and moving down to the shins shins also got a new sculpt brand new completely cool i thought that this was actually just a cover over the actual the actual shin it's not it's just a completely new shin itself not die cast metal but it is that cool metal looking plastic with a cool layer spray so briefly i wanted to discuss the wings on mecha king Ghidorah and something that they did change and improve on from the last Ghidorah that came out in the SH Monster Arts line. So you can move these around and it's safe. So as you can see, this is me safely moving the wing. It is very, very strong and there is a little kickback. So when you're moving it, it's trying to stay in place. So be a little mindful, but I don't think it's going to break. This is by far one of the best SH Monster Arts wings, and I am one for complaining about the wings in the line. So I am very happy with how these wings came out. So lastly, something I wanted to talk about in detailing is the tails. Very, very cool. They have these die cast metal port um, tips, excuse me, I said ports, uh, tips at the very top. Very, very cool. I don't know what else to say about them. One side is really, really strong, can hold a pose, for, for days, it, it could hold it and it won't budge. But this other tail is extremely weak to the point where it just falls off automatically. I don't know what to do about it. It falls off in several different parts. Um, this part and then another part up here. I'm not going to kind of pull it out. So for articulation, Mecha King Ghidorah has a plethora of amazing articulation. As you should expect from the SH Monster Arts line. So starting at the head, each one of them is fully articulated. Can bend and rotate from the neck all over any which way you desire really really cool right this one is the middle one being not as flexible as the rest of them but still has the sh monster arts great functions the mouths on all of them can open very widely the middle one not so much the tongues are also articulated if you can catch them my nails are long and I still can't manage to get one. Oh my God, I think I got one on camera. There you go. So it's not much, but you know, you can get it to go up a little bit, you know, not so much, but there you go. 
And then from there, he has a sort of bicep swivel going on here. Kind of leans forward and back. Pretty cool. And also something to note, I forgot, almost forgot about this, is that they do shift forward and back from the neck. You can push them back a little bit. Then moving on to the feet, there's not a lot of articulation going on on the side. Going on, going to the feet, you can shift this back and forward, double jointed knees, and you can rotate it at the knee. A sort of, oh, there we go, bicep, bicep, you hear me? A calf swivel, and then a ankle swivel plus ankle rocker. Then he has the tail articulation, which is, I'm gonna do it on this side actually tail articulation all of it ball joints amazing ball joints as you can see whoop pop that off <laughs> amazing ball joints can be posed however you want it to it'll hold it if you have strong joints pretty much it's gonna hold a pose it's going to and i had this balance on its toes wow pretty good and then for the wings they shift up they shift down and well don't want to do it that way that's gonna fall and you can pull this back all the way to get it exactly all the way back. So really, really great range of articulation. I'm very happy with it. So there we go for articulation. Now let's move on to size comparisons. So to wrap up this review, I quickly wanted to put Mecha King Ghidorah in a display where you guys could see him in all of his glory. And I just have to say it, this figure is downright amazing. For $200, this figure is a must-have in the SH Monsters line. If you are a fan of Mecha King Ghidorah or a fan of the Ghidorahs in general, this figure is a must-have. I, I love what the SH Monster Arts and Bandai Tomashi Nations have done with this figure. My minor gripes have to be with just the small little spikes on the wings and the fact that the center head does have less articulation or less posability than heads on the left and right side but besides that this figure is downright amazing with the wings and the all the die cast metal that you get all the accessories that you get down from the clips to the door rats themselves this figure is a must get so with that being said i'm gonna ask you guys to like the video i'm gonna tell you guys to check me out on facebook i have a like page now so if you guys want to get all the updates of when I'm editing my videos, making my videos, and posting my videos, you can go like the like page and you get all those updates there. Or you can add me on Facebook and we can be friends on Facebook. Or you can follow me on Instagram. All the updates get posted there too. So links to all of that will be down in the description. And I'll check you guys out next time. Peace.